Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and you may notice that this video is named How to Jailbreak Fire Stick, parentheses, Install Downloader. And the reason for that is because that's all we're really doing and Jailbreak Fire Stick is a misleading term because we're not modifying the firmware on the Amazon Fire TV Stick in any way. So here's how to do it. Oh, and by the way, this also works on the Fire TV Cube as well. I'm going to hover over the Find button, move down, click Search, type in Downloader. After the first few letters, it shows up in the list. I'm going to click Downloader, click the big orange icon, click Download. Okay, the application has been installed. I'm going to go back to the home screen. We need to grant the proper permissions for the application. I'm going to hover over the gear icon on the right side of the screen, go into My Fire TV. Next, I want to go into Developer Options. Now, if this isn't showing on your device, what you want to do is go into About, and then click the name of your Fire TV device seven times. You're going to see when I do it, it says, No need, you are already a developer. When you do it for the first time, it will say you are now a developer. And then when you push the back button, it's gonna be here in the list. Go into developer options, install unknown apps, and you want to turn on unknown apps for downloader. This will allow us to install applications not available within the Amazon App Store. Now, if you're jailbreaking an old Fire Stick, there's only going to be one toggle. You need to turn that on and it covers all of the applications on the device. You don't have to go into each individual app and turn it on. Okay, back to the home screen. Now I'm going to go to the page that shows all of my applications. I do use the downloader app on a regular basis, so I want to take this and put it on the top row here so it shows up on the home screen of my device. I'm gonna highlight it, and while I'm highlighting it, I'm going to press the menu button, which some refer to as the hamburger button. Click move. Now I'm going to use the arrows on my directional pad of the remote. I'm going to put this right behind Surfshark VPN. Click the OK button on my remote. That will drop it into place. Now back to the home screen. It's front and center right here on this main row. OK, I'm going to go ahead and launch Downloader. Click OK for the release notes. And now I'm going to show you one way that we can sideload applications that aren't available within the Amazon App Store. And that's by using my free Troy Point Toolbox. I'm going to click the Up button on my remote, put the cursor in the URL box, click the OK button on my remote, and I'm going to type in 250931. Hit the Go button. Okay, my free Troy Point Toolbox has loaded. Now, when you first land here, I strongly suggest marking this as a favorite within the Downloader app. That way, when you come back here in the future, you don't have to wait for that five-second load screen or type in the secret code. So I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds. Click Add Current Page to Favorites. Click Save. And now you're going to notice on the left side here under Favorites, we click Troy Point Toolbox, it loads immediately without the five second load screen with the ads. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll down by pressing the down button on my remote. All right, you will notice that there's dozens of applications on this page that you can install that are not a part of the official Amazon App Store. Now in this example, I will be installing this popular Media Center application, and this is one of the main reasons why people want to jailbreak their fire sticks in the first place. Now you will notice every application on this page also comes with a tutorial link. So if you have a browser installed on your fire stick, you can click the tutorial button and it will open a page on the Troy Point website that provides information and installation instructions on the application in question. Okay, I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna wait for this download to finish. Click Install. I'm going to click Done. 
And now I'm going to delete the installation file. There's no need to leave these on the device. So once you're done installing an app through the Troy Point toolbox or sideloading any other application, I strongly suggest getting rid of that APK installation file. Okay, I'm done with downloader for the time being. I'm gonna hit the home button on my remote, back to the page that displays all of my applications and I wanna move this one to the home screen as well. Highlight it. Another way you can move it rather than pressing the menu button you can hold down on the OK button of your remote for a few seconds and then use the arrows on your remote to drop it into place. And I'm going to put this right in front of the downloader app. Click the OK button. It drops it into place back to the home screen. And here it is. Let's go ahead and launch it to make sure that it is working properly. Click continue while using the app. Allow and the Media Center application has loaded. Now, another reason people jailbreak their Fire Sticks is to access third-party app stores that allow them to install secret applications. And I do have a free guide that shows how to do this, and I keep it updated so you will always get the latest and greatest. This guide also shows how to install the best add-ons for the app that we just installed. To get my free guide on how to install third-party app stores and have access to over a thousand apps or add-ons not found in the Amazon App Store, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet, input your email address, and the guide will be delivered to your inbox immediately. Rather than recording a new Jailbreak Firestick video every other week, we keep this guide updated with the latest tips and tricks. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. As always, have an awesome day, and thanks for following Troy Point.